So I'm Margot Kane, Cree Soto from Alberta, and I'm the playwright and solo performer of Moon Lodge to this point. <laughs> Before I even wrote it down, it was still an oral storytelling. Thompson Highway and I uh, talked about it and brought it to Wasagi Chuck uh, Begins to Dance, the, uh, the New Works Festival that they still run to this day in Native Earth in Toronto. And from that workshop production, uh, then I began to uh, write it down. We wrote it down from the video of the production <laughs> and then I tweaked it and I began to work as a writer but as a storyteller too. So I would get on my feet and I would work on a scene and then I would go to the script and I would tweak the script. There was nothing on the stages of this country and that disturbed me because I was an actor. I could do all these roles, but there was no roles for me to do. And so this was a piece that I was attempting to create an, a work for myself that would tell one of the stories or some of the stories uh, that our people were facing. You know, in my lifetime and in, in my touring years, there, there was still very much a separation between Native and non-Native community. I mean, a big separation. I was just dying for Native audiences to come and see it because I knew they would laugh with me. I knew they would cry with me. I knew we could, you know, enjoy this together. There were times when I felt really um, that the, perhaps the audience didn't understand, the non-Native audience didn't really understand fully what I was doing because they were being respectful and because also they, they, they didn't know any Native people, they didn't understand the history. So at a certain point in my touring, I looked out and I realized that it was a real privilege to be on the stage, that they were listening to me. They maybe didn't laugh with me or cry with me or maybe they didn't fully grasp my full story, but they were listening and they were in the theater. And it was a real privilege to be on a stage and to share that with people, no matter who they were. I guess what I hope for is that not only uh, our community, but the, the non-Native mainstream theater community understands how long we've waited to be part of main stage and theater experiences throughout this country. Like how long I've waited to have uh, my work, um, our work represented on the stages of this country. I was a young woman when I did that show. And so I, I suppose I see this as opportunity for Moon Lodge to really um, be a show that again inspires people and inspires our young people. Uh, another generation that will appreciate the joy that this, this Agnes has and this resilience that she seems to show. Moon Lodge is um, a metaphor for the many women in my life. I've had many mothers and many sisters and many aunties and many uh, women that would have loved to have raised me and wanted to and um, I'm just amazed at the number of women in my life that have really um, been there for me when I didn't know uh, anything, when I was um, wandering through the world <laughs> trying to find my way and I, I really think that um, all of those women, Native and non-Native women, um, are honored um, when, I, when I speak about the Moon Lodge. And when Agnes is in the Moon Lodge, it is that memory of all of our women that will always um, keep us strong. <laughs>